to be a problem. We have all had an incident where we were late due to traffic jam or unforeseen weather. Being on time can sometimes be hard to always do, especially as a college student who commutes in a major city like Atlanta. There have been many cases where I was late to class due to heavy traffic, accidents, or weather like heavy rain or snow. The solution for this problem is a device I created called InTime. InTime is an Arduino and PC Duino powered device that automatically sets your alarm based on the weather and traffic data to your destination. The system is run from a PC Duino. A PC Duino, like the Raspberry Pi, is a small single board computer. The PC Duino communicates via serial to an Arduino Mega with a touchscreen LCD. There is also an Arduino Pro Mini that runs the NeoPixel LEDs. Traffic and weather conditions are constantly changing each day, so a single standard alarm for each morning may not be the solution to being on time. InTime recognizes this and automatically sets your alarm based on weather and traffic data. Alright, so first I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit what's on the screen. So you can see the date, time, the current temperature, the current weather conditions, and what time the alarm is at. So on the top left hand corner you can see the uh, noti notification bar. And so up here it tells me any information about my alarms or any Google Calendar events I have, which I'll show you a little bit of that later. So if I just click this right here. You can see it tells me the date, time, and suggested time I should leave my house. And so this is all calculated from the uh, Google API where it, it's uh, adjusted for any traffic or accident conditions. And if you want to see more about how I make these calculations, check the link in the description. And there should be a link to, a page, to an Instructables page where I explain everything. So if you click close, it just takes you back to the home screen, updates the time and everything. And uh, if I go to the next screen, you can see uh, it still says the time and day at the top corner. You have a settings and you can set uh, a local alarm and also adjust the NeoPixels, which are these lights up here. So if I click this, you can see there's a RGB sliders. So all I have to do is slide it and I can adjust the color. And I can also change the color to anything I like it. And this box is pretty accurate in saying what the color is. If you put them all on, it's all white. If you turn them all off, it turns off the LEDs. So I'll just leave it at that color for now. So at the bottom here, next to the uh, navigation buttons, there are two uh, buttons that are used for controlling in time. So this one is used to update, and this one is actually a text-to-speech option where it says the time out loud. So if I click it, it is 24. It says the time out loud and you can see like a little Knight Rider type animation going on with the NeoPixels. So I'll just click it again. It is 24. So I said a bit earlier that you were able to set local alarms with this set alarm option. So if I go into here, you can actually uh, set an alarm. So I'll turn it to PM. And it's around two. It's around two twenty-seven right now. Twenty-five actually. So I'll put it at twenty-six. So uh, if you click snooze, you can actually uh, customize what snooze time you like. So it's automatically set at ten minutes. You can set it at thirty, fifteen, five. Any of these options. So right now I'll just set it at 15, click confirm, and if you click set alarm, it'll say alarm is set at 226, and alarm, alarm, you can see it's 226 and it's alarm. giving you an alarm, so you can either snooze it alarm. or hit okay. Alarm. 
Okay, so I hit okay on the alarm, and if I were to click snooze, it would have just snoozed for the amount of time that I said it to. Alright, so this was part one of end time. Please look at part two for more information on how I use the Google Calendar and Yahoo APIs to automatically set the alarm and how it can show you any upcoming Google Calendar events. Uh, make sure to check the link in the description for more information on how I created it. And be sure to comment and like this video and subscribe uh, to be on the lookout for version two. Thanks for watching.